Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a video on the Canon PIX MA TR4522 printer review and setup, plus a print test or two. Okay, to start with, let's go ahead and see what this compact home office printer can do. It can print, copy, scan, it's wireless, and it also has a fax machine and it's capable of a 20 page ADF and on top of that it has a really handy two line LCD display on top and it can print from any smart device like a laptop or tablet uh, Windows or Android smartphone iPhone you name it it can print from it and that comes in really handy now let's go ahead and take a look at what came with this printer upper left hand corner we have two ink cartridges a black one and a color one 243 and 244 below that we have a power cord and in the center we have a telephone cord for the fax machine that's built into this printer and to the right of that we have a package that has the CD-ROM drive with the setup software included on it and then we also have some warranty information as well as a getting started manual okay um, that's what came with the printer besides the printer itself and as you can see I have already removed any packaging material and tape that was on the printer here's the power cord let me turn the printer around and we have some ports on the back we have a fax machine telephone cable for input output line we also have a USB port there and then we have the power plug port right here and that's what we're gonna go ahead and do is plug the power plug in and you know it's funny because um, you know you only have to push it a little bit and it almost feels like it's not in tight but it is so be careful with that and let me turn that around and the other end of the plug needs to be plugged into a AC wall outlet and once you've done that we are ready to go ahead and push the power button and turn the power on on this printer here and the green light blinks for a couple seconds and then it becomes solid then the LCD display will say language selection English and English works for me by default so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK and then it says install ink cartridges open the cover all right let's go ahead and install the ink cartridges and I'll open up the front cover here and then there's another little cover that needs to be open and then you can see the two slots left and right where the color and the black ink cartridges will go into and that's the way it works in that order so let's open up these packages and it helps if I open this up from the bottom it's a lot easier and then remove the orange uh, tape and just kind of push that in there and push it up and it's they go in very easy and I'll do the same thing with the black one here and take the orange tape off and again um, it is no big deal in putting these in they go in very easily and just kind of push it in and then up slightly and then we can go ahead and close the cover and then we hear the printer reset itself okay time to put paper in the input tray right here which slides on out a little bit here and this allows you easy access to the paper guides that can be adjusted for different size paper and the size paper that we're going to go ahead and use is the normal eight and a half by eleven paper and here it is and I'm going to fan it a little bit just in case it's stuck together or anything like that and I'll slide it in and the paper goes into the um, paper input tray very easily and you can have easy access to adjusting the guides if you need to and then go ahead and push that tray right back in and I can slide the paper output tray out a little bit that way when the paper or the uh, document is printed it doesn't go flying all over the place it has some place to land and um, it gives you plenty of uh, length for that for different size papers and on to the setup here prepare for connection on the LCD display I clicked on OK 
and next it says ready to connect um, refer to getting started and that would be the manual that came with the printer for the TR4500 series okay what device are you connecting computer computer and smartphone or smartphone I'm using my laptop computer so I'm going to be going to the ij.start.canon URL address on my laptop computer and open up an internet browser and on the URL address line up top here I will be typing in ij.start.canon actually I did a cut and paste but you get the idea and then once you do that you get the welcome page from Canon and this is the setup and if you want to you can change the default language I'm gonna leave it on English and click on setup and once you do you get to select a product name and I'm gonna go ahead and type in TR4522 and then go ahead and click on the go button here and that'll take me to the next page where it says the TR4522 setup and all you have to do on this page is simply click on the start button and once you do it says one preparing the printer and you know there's lots of videos here that you can watch on the Canon website um, if you choose to um, but I'm not going to do that you can if you want I'm going to just go ahead and skip those and click on connect and continue showing you how to set this printer up in my video so we are on number two connecting to a computer and all you need to do here is simply click on the download button and run the software to start set up on your computer and the first thing we get in Firefox is do I want to save this file yes I do so I'm gonna click on save and then on the download um, arrow button up top here I'm gonna click on that and when I do I can see that the file has completed in downloading to my computer it doesn't take long I'll click once on that and that uh, starts up the start setup um, program on my laptop computer so I can go ahead and shrink this browser because I don't need it open any longer and that way the screen isn't as busy all right I'm gonna go ahead and click on start setup and then the next screen before you continue this software may use uh, the network to set up the printer and I'm fine with that so I'm gonna just go ahead and click on next then I get acquiring information on the latest driver and software downloading now keep in mind I've speed this up uh, quite a little bit um, via my video editing software this can take a couple of seconds to a good couple of minutes to download and once it's completed acquiring the information it'll go ahead and go to this next page which is the license agreement and then go ahead and click on yes now keep in mind if you say no the software doesn't get installed so you always have to say yes and that's the same with this next page you do want to agree with this because you want to install the drivers and the necessary software to print to your printer then you get this next screen checking the printer status and it's trying to determine um, you know if it can talk to the printer or not and this will take a few seconds and then I get select connection method and by default it is a uh, selected as Wi-Fi connection of course if you wanted to use it as a USB connection you could but in this video and as I'm going to be using it and hopefully you as well um, you're going to use it as a Wi-Fi connection so go ahead and click on next and then it tells me check power on the printer make sure the printer is powered on so I'm going to go over to my printer and make sure the green light is powered on and yes it is so all is good and I'm back on my Windows desktop I've checked and I'm going to go ahead and click on next easy wireless connection and then it says check the connection method connect the printer to the following wireless router 
using a wireless connection and I do want to go ahead and connect it to my wireless router SkySat. So this is good. It works for me and it's the right printer because it's the only TR4500 series printer that I have on my network. I'll click on yes. Setting up network connection is temporary disabled and yes if I go down here in the right hand corner on my taskbar the Wi-Fi has been you know disabled and then this popped up. Skyset password I went ahead and typed that in and it's now setting up and again the Wi-Fi is temporarily disabled and that holds true and then it says connection completed and the Wi-Fi um, is also uh, re-enabled down on the taskbar and I'm gonna go ahead and click on next since I got a green check mark now it's installing the MP drivers for the printer and it says that it can take up to about two minutes until it's completed and you know it depends a lot on the speed and performance of your computer and your internet speed as well and then you get processing please wait momentarily then we get this next prompt which allows us to send a test print to our printer to make sure it's working okay and you know before we do this I just want to point out that during the MP driver installation it did create a Canon U scan utility shortcut on our Windows desktop for us for easy access to the Canon utilities. All right, let's go ahead and click on start and uh, send a test print over to our printer and see how that works. Okay, for a inkjet printer, this is printing out a test print relatively fast actually. And the printout looks crisp and clear to me. So I think it did a good job for a small budget inkjet printer. Okay, let's go back over to my Windows desktop here. And I can go ahead and click on next. And I get the last prompt or window. And it says uh, setup complete. You can now print from your printer. Next, software will be installed. Okay, now keep in mind I'm gonna go ahead and click on next but keep in mind that um, the following software is optional you don't have to install any of this software if you choose not to and in my case I'm choosing not to install any of it but um, again if you want to install it you're welcome to do that uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and uncheck everything and then click on next then Canon gives me two windows of some additional information. You can print from a smartphone or tablet. Click on the instructions button to learn more. I'm going to just click on next here and then join our programs. Register now. I'm going to skip on this one as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on exit. Okay, before I leave you, I wanted to very quickly show you how to do a test print or print something out of a uh, very simple Microsoft word processing application called WordPad uh, which is free within Windows 10 and I've just gone ahead and opened it up and I have typed in some simple stuff here and then I'm gonna go over here and click on file go down and click on print and then go up and click on print again and then I have selected the TR4500 series and I'm going to make it a uh, number of copies is going to be two and then I'm going to click on print and let's go over to the printer and as you can see it is printing out both of these uh, pages or two copies of the same document um, very quickly and as you can see um, nice clear crisp print is uh, been produced by this inkjet printer and uh, it's a good printer I think it's um, gonna work out just fine in anybody's home office okay one last thing I want to mention before ending this video if you want to go ahead and print from your smartphone all you need to do from an Android phone is go out to Google Play and download and install this app right here 
and you do the same on iPhone. Go out to the Apple App Store and download and install this exact same app. We've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like. And remember to share.